everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and today i will be talking about inverse functions here we go inverse functions can be represented in algebraic form f to the power of negative one of x okay we're in the negative one here is a representation that this is an inverse function and f here can be also represented as g or h which are the most commonly used variable in terms of functions okay but what do you mean by inverse function so this is the formal definition the inverse function is the function thus that undoes the effect of the function f of x in other words it returns each member of the range set back to its corresponding number in the domain okay now to understand better this definition i have here an example on how to find out the inverse function using the algebraic method the problem is the function f of x is defined as f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 7, where x is a positive real number. Okay, so we are asked here to find out the inverse function. So look at this on this side, wherein we can represent this one as f to the power of negative 1 of x. So the first thing to do is, we are just rewriting first the given function, and then we change this f of x to y, and then change y to x and then x to y and then after that we are going to get the uh, change the subject this time we are going to get the value of y so there you go the steps the algebraic procedure of doing that and then the last part here since the subject now is equal to y then there you go we can change this y into f to the power of negative one of x is equal to the square root of x minus seven over three Okay, I have here another example. Find the inverse of f of x is equal to 1 half x plus 3. So the first thing to do is just copy first the given function. We have to be very organized here. And then after that, we are going to change this f of x to y and then copy everything. And then we, the next step here is we're going to change y to x. And then there you go. We, ch we are changing now y to x. And then after that, we're going to solve for y. So in that case, what will happen now? So just transpose 3 on the other side that becomes negative. And then we have 1 half y and then we multiply both sides by 2 in order to solve for y to remain y um, in one of the sides of the equation okay so there you go you have there y is equal to 2 times the, the difference of x 2 minus times three. the difference and of x and go. 3 that's the inverse okay, now sorry. we just change y into f to the power of negative 1 of x is equal to 2x minus 6 and this is now the inverse of this given function okay okay our next problem here is f of x is equal to 2, 2 minus x over x so this is a rational function how are we going to find out the inverse of this given function so just simply the same procedure in algebraic method we are just going to copy the function first and then change this into y and then change y to x and x to y so there you go and then after that we do cross multiplication and that is what is happening now and then after that observe here so we are going to transpose uh, y on the other side we combine and then we factorize y and then there you go we are going to divide both sides by x plus one and you now have the inverse of this function which is equal to two over x plus one okay, we are now down to our last problem which is g of x is equal to the square root of two plus x plus four this is a radical function so look at this so the first thing to do is we just change this g of x to y and then after that change y to x so here we go then we are going to solve for y so algebraically that's how you do that and then after here we are going to square both sides of the equation and then and that's the reason why we have this okay and then we are going to transpose 2 on the other side and so there you go we are now having y as the subject of the formula and therefore this is now the inverse of the given function which is equal to the square of x minus 4 minus 2 we can also uh, expand this but we can leave this one also as our final answer that's it guys and that's all about the inverse functions guys and thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe my youtube channel Bye.